Hey folks, if you follow me on Instagram, you will probably know by now that I painted this backdrop quite recently and I changed it quite recently, but I don't really like it. I preferred my old one when it was gray. Um, so I'm going to change it again. I'm gonna try rich black on the backdrop. I'm gonna change out this table. I'm gonna change a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna tear out this desk that's over here. You can just see that. And I'm going to rip all that out and I think I'm going to get a bigger space across here and make this the main desk. I'm also going to sort this desk out. This is one of those um, catering tables, uh, you know, like the wedding catering tables that you just fold away. I thought it would be good to be able to fold it away and things like that. But, you know, I want something more permanent. I'm enjoying this YouTube thing, so I'm going to go for it. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to open some of these. These are some gifts I got from some companies that I'm doing some photography for. I thought you'd find them interesting and I'm actually gonna include these in another video coming up soon. Something to look forward to. I'll open these at the end of the video, hopefully with the new setup. Anyway, see you on the other side. it was going to dry chalkier than it is but it's actually really reflective that is reflecting off of the back wall so that's not what I'm after after three coats of rich black I'm going to switch to an old tub of farrow and ball paint from the house this is Hague blue you can't really tell from here but the the blue the Hague blue on the wall is looking loads better it's got a kind of matte feel to it, so when the light hits it, it doesn't reflect back. And a bunch of furniture has just turned up, so I'm going to build that, and then we'll put it all in place. I say I'm going to build the furniture. It looks like actually this shelving unit just unfolds, so that's cool. So we are getting there. I've got a bit more furniture to build. So I'm going to sort of put the stuff together, dress it up, and then we'll see where we are at that point. These are for an upcoming video, which I think will be interesting. So there we go. Um, I actually quite like the blue. Honestly, I think I would have preferred a nice charcoal -y black. I'll, I'll just throw a Pinterest board up on the screen right now to show you some of the things I was thinking. Obviously, Pinterest is perfect and I'm never gonna achieve that kind of perfection, but you know, it's always good to have a bit of inspiration. Another thing I want to get to is over the last two weeks, I've gained about 10,000 subscribers. So there's a whole load of people out there that I haven't said thank you to and thanks for subscribing. It is getting a little harder for me to respond to all the comments on Instagram and on YouTube. If I don't respond to your comment, it's nothing personal. It's just that I'm actually spending more time replying to comments than I am creating content at the moment. So I've got to find a way to do that. But I really appreciate you hitting the subscribe button. I really appreciate the, those of you who have come over to Instagram to say hi. Just a massive thank you for that. Some of the other changes to the space, I've got a monitor right here now, it's basically there. If you see me doing this in videos, I'm looking at the monitor. Um, I'm using a 24mm lens instead of a 28mm lens, so it gives a little bit of a wider picture. If you look behind me, this is where the old setup went to. You can actually see that's where the old setup went to. Now I've taken up the whole wall, I can get a a bit of a wider image. That wider view means that I've got obviously more space behind me. I have a microphone here for doing um, tutorials and things like that so I can switch to another view uh, so I can do more tutorials and stuff about how to use Lightroom, my editing workflow, those sorts of things. I'm speaking into this microphone, this isn't on, my mic's up here. Uh, one, two, one, two, uh, you know. But yeah, this is the other setup and, and me widening the space means I can do that. And finally, as I said, there's a few things that turned up which relate to future videos. So I'm just gonna show you what those things are. I don't know if you're aware of Clocks and Colors and if you're not aware of the brand, this isn't sponsored. If you're not aware of the brand, they make, uh, they make stuff like this, um, sort of men's chains and rings and things like that. So I'm gonna do some product photography around that. But also in that video, I think I'm gonna do uh, a giveaway of theirs. Uh, it's, I think it's like a 500 euro giveaway, so it could be really good. 
Another um, awesome brand. This is a UK brand, all made in the UK, it says, called Apothecary 87. They kind of do like men's grooming products and stuff like that, but also stuff like uh, scented candles that's been hit with hammers, stuff. This stuff actually smells amazing, this like coffee body scrub. They wanted me to do some product photography around that, so that's not necessarily related to a video. I may do a video of me doing that. It just depends how manageable that is to do, but this is a cool brand. And finally, I've not opened this one yet properly. I just had a quick look. This is, uh, this is a company called uh, Ulanzi, I think, Ulanzi, and then there's some other names in there as well. They do a whole bunch of like interesting small lights. Um, you know, lights are one of those things that everything kind of looks the same, but this stuff kind of looks a little different. So they asked me if I would do a few reviews, so I said, yeah, kind of send everything, and I will do, um, there's an interesting kind of, kind of a ring light here for the top of the camera. I asked them to send everything and I'll do a review of all the kind of small lights because I hadn't seen ones like this before. They, they look a bit different to the kind of standard stuff. I don't know the quality yet, but we'll wait and see. So that video's coming up as well. So if you're interested in small lights for YouTube or for vlogging and stuff like that, I'm quite keen on testing some of these little, um, little lights. It looks like it's got some interesting diffusion on that one. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you like the new setup. Let me know in the comments if you do. The whole point of me investing a bit into this was so that I can do even more videos and I can do more tutorials and stuff and show a bit more about my editing workflow, a bit more about photography and a bit more about the creativity stuff. So thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.